Uh, well, I'm going to 28th in strong story time. This is the Wizard of Oz in as quickly as we can tell it. So once upon a time, there's a girl named Dorothy, and she lives in Kansas. And she's, she's like, oh, I hate this. Kansas is so boring. Kansas is boring. It's just open wasteland of nothing. And she's like, oh, I'm going to run around. I'm going to run around a gypsy with my dog Toto. And Gypsy's like, there's a tornado coming. Get the fuck out of here. Something about you're going to have a good adventure. I can't remember. Anyway, she's going. There's a tornado. She's like, I know what the safest place to be is. My bedroom. <laughs> it was a stupid move, though, because there's a wine cellar. Did she try the wine cellar even? Did she even go there? Like, where's my family? They're not in my bedroom. Maybe we're in their fucking wine cellar where we practice all those tornado uh, drills. drills. The house gets picked up. Um, then it lands. She comes out. There's someone dead. Like, Proof. dead. Proof. And what did she do? The first thing I would do if I saw someone dead, I would try calling 911. What did she do? She takes her fucking shoes. She's already wearing shoes. She just takes them off the dead person. I think that's ludicrous. Honestly, if I'm going to be real, I think that's absolutely idiotic. And it shows just sort of what kind of character Dorothy is. The Munchens come out and they're saying, Oh, yay, you killed the witch, you killed the witch, la 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 la. And she's like, I did what? And then this other white witch comes down, which is a little like, okay, there's a, how many witches are in this fucking realm? And if I just killed one, why are you not offended? But she's like, oh, I don't give a shit. You killed the bad witch. Okay, whatever. She says, follow you up at Glode. Munchkins all sh uh, shouting. They're like, okay, good. Do that. You know, we trust her. She's, she's a good witch. Dorothy's like, okay, I'll set off on my own. Whatever. Fuck you all. See you in hell. She's running. She's just... Just booking it down this yellow brick road. Comes across a scarecrow, decides to stop because there's a fork on the road. And scarecrow just suddenly starts talking, like, hey, what's up? Um, scarecrow, you can go this way, you can go that way, whatever way you know you feel like doing. Oh, and by the way, I'm an idiot. Uh, but he doesn't have a brain, so he's fucking an idiot. Why would you take his directional advice if he doesn't have a brain? Anyway, she likes him. They go off, they walk through the woods, run into a tin man. He says, I don't have a heart. That's your first warning right there that he doesn't have a heart because he can double cross you at any time. He could be like, oh, I'll help you with the witch. Not fucking get him, witch. I'm right here. I don't have a heart. He does no moral anything. I think morals come from the hearts. Um, squeak, 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 whatever. The witch shows up. I have a fucking blue and throws fireballs at people. There's also trees that hurt the people in there somewhere. Throwing apples. I think they want an apple. Dorothy's hungry at this point because the munchkins didn't give her any fucking food. They sang enough about their fucking lollipops. They never once offered her one. And they were the fucking leaders of the Lollipop Guild. Anyway, the witch shows up, throws fireballs, trees are also attacking him. It's just a bad day overall, so they keep going on. They meet this lion, they're singing about lions, tigers, and bears, and the lion shows up. Woo. You know, that's coincidental. <laughs> anyway, the lion's like, oh, I'm scared of everything. Oh, the mouse, I'm scared of everything. And they're saying, well, you join us. And then they keep going, and then the snowies and the poppies, and they go, and they get to see the wizard, and he says, kill the witch. And they're like, this is weird. This is getting weird. He wants us to murder someone just so I can get home. The wizard's like, yeah, do it. And so they go. A bunch of monkeys attack him. Like, oh, we're monkeys. We got wings. Look at us. We're such a cool creation. Monkey wings. And they rip him apart. Everything is wrong. Toto! I forgot about Toto. Shit! Toto was there from the beginning. He went to see Gypsy. He went to see Tornado. I bet Toto had the most sense of everyone. He just couldn't speak his words. He was barking the whole time. He was like, Oh, Scarecrow's fucking stupid shit. Don't bring him along. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Oh, Timmy doesn't have a heart. He'll double cross you anytime. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Oh, the Cowardly Lion. I'm fucking more intimidating than he is. Anyway, Toto's there. Toto gets captured by the witch. That is a very lonely spinstress. And, and she's just, she's, she's having a bad time. She's been on Mash.com. She's looked, she's looked for people, but she's never found love. She says, I'm going to turn this hourglass over. Then out of nowhere, a lion and Tin Man and the Scarecrow show up and they say, well, we're here. Sorry, we're late. And they, they, oh, someone catches fire again. I think it's a Scarecrow. And Dorothy's like, oh shit, better get some water. But she throws it on the witch by accident because she's a bad aim. Witch is gone. Witch is like, I'm melting, I'm melting because I'm made out of sugar. She's dead. All the monkeys that guess are like, fuck that. The witch is dead. I'm still a flying fucking monkey with an army behind me. But God forbid I actually just take over the kingdom myself. Whatever. They get away. They go back to the wizard. Turns out wizard is this old fucking man who just doesn't have a fucking clue. He gives everyone, like, the worst gifts. Like, if I got these gifts for Christmas, 
I, I wouldn't even re-gift them. I would throw them out. That's how fucking bad they were. Everyone besides Dorothy got a shitty gift. Well, Lion got like a badge that said I'm courageous. Tin Man got a, a, like a heart necklace. That's not a fucking heart. And the Scarecrow got a diploma. First of all, that's a fucking slam at all universities that they just give a diploma. Who fuck? There's literally the stupidest person on the earth. It's like here's a diploma. You don't have to pay fifty thousand dollars in tuition. You're just smart suddenly. It seems it's almost like the gifts that the wizard gives are ironic, like his jokes. Like it's his last little cruel fucking joke <laughs> where he takes off his air balloon, leaving Dorothy behind. I might add, he was a fucking dick to begin with. Anyway, she's left. Then the good witch of the something comes down and literally tells her all you have to fucking do is click your heels together. She was wearing the shoes at the beginning of the story. She didn't say shit. She just, mm, no, you're gonna help me out. Really, you're not gonna tell her just to click her shoes to get back home. She's a little girl. She's scared, she's tired, and you sent her to kill someone. She goes home, obviously. She wakes up in bed, everything's fine. Auntie Dora's like, oh, Dorothy, did you finish your chores? She's like, fuck you, I was just in a fucking tornado. Turns out everyone that was on the farm is in a dream. He's a scarecrow, ten man line. Uh, you know, it's like, uh, I don't even know what to think at the end of the story. Who knows what this story's about? Mm -hmm.